went against the rules of the game that we play. Here we go again. I'm gonna make this um kind of quick because I'm running out of storage space. I'm a little tired, but I wanted to um, get this um video out for y'all. Cause um I had a request for it plus um some other shit came up to where um maybe um go ahead and get it out. This is going to be like, uh, let's call this part one. We're going to have another part two to it. When somebody asks me, they ask me like, I get this question often, all right? I get the, I get this question quite often. And they, they, they say, man, how is it being on the road if you got your girl or your wife or whatever at the house, you know, and, and whatnot, you know? And, um, this is just my personal experience, so we're gonna put a warning. Let's make let's, let's make this a warning. You about to hear a whole lot of cuss words because this is my opinion. You know what they say about opinions, right? So my opinion is this: unless you know something that the average person don't know, or you have. Uh, uh, some sort of situation already set up and aligned for yourself to where you're not going to have to do what you need to do to survive in this industry for what I, from what I learned, from my opinion, okay? You're going to have to get out here and learn. You're not going to be able to pick up a load, go five miles, then come back home every single day. I just don't, I don't see it. Unless you got some connection that we don't know about, unless you're coming into the industry with a connection of some sort. But for the average person, it, it, that's that's not the case. That's not the case. It's not going to be a, 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 a hour or two hour job and you at the house every single day for 364 days a year. It's just not. Off on weekends, off on holidays, so forth and so on. And you're only putting no miles on the truck. It's just not going to happen. All right. Now let's move on. If you are any type of man's man in my opinion you're going to be out there doing what the fuck you're supposed to be doing to provide for your significant other you're not going to be sitting here worried about what your girl is doing every single fucking minute you ain't going to survive out here I was told this personally by other owner operators personally who had problems who, who had issues to where they, they admitted that that was the reason they failed because they was chasing behind not their wife but their girlfriend. Okay, so you, you can't do it. You can't do it. Y'all got to be on the same page. She got to know that you going out there doing what you got to do, and you got to know that you going out there and doing what you need to do, what needs to be done. Period. It's not gonna be the perfect situation. It's going to be a grind. It's going to be hard. But it's doable. Plenty of people out here doing it every damn day. But you can't be chasing behind no female when you're supposed to be doing your damn job. It just don't work. It just don't work like that. I'm sorry, it don't. So, you know, they... But the, this is what this question is. I get asked these questions. And I go, well, well, what if your girl gets sick? Well, what if your girl has to go to the hospital? I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. I can tell every single time that my girl went to the motherfucking hospital. Every single time that she got sick. I was coming up from Florida one day. I made it into Tennessee. It was below zero weather. All of a sudden, she starts sputtering. Had to go in the shop for five days. She was sick. She needed injectors, fuel injectors, and some hair bolts. Another time she went in was in 2014, March of 2014. She was in there for approximately four or five days for, from some um, EGR problems. Another time she got sick, it was electrical problems. Another time she got sick, which was here recently, was a, a yoke. And it had me in uh had me in the shop for two days. 
okay? Them all the times that my girl then been sick. Every single time I can tell you when she be sick. If you ain't got it by now, this is my motherfucking girl. This is my woman. I'm married to this bitch here. I say that and I say it like that because if I stay focused on some shit that I can't necessarily change because of the decisions I made to be a trucker and to be over the road or be regional or be this or be that, then I'm going to fucking fail. And I ain't going to have that girl over there at the house. I'm not going to have that wife at the house and I'm not going to have this. It's a fucking balance. It's a balance. You have to understand that. She has to understand that. And given most females that I've talking to, they already get it. They already understand it. They do. It's usually the dude that's come out here and bitching. It's usually the dude. It ain't the female, it's usually the dude. He can't be away from us five minutes. He worrying about somebody else creeping up in this motherfucking house and this, that, and whatever. Them hookers gonna do what the fuck them hookers do. You can't be following behind no motherfucking hooker all day, damn day long and expect to get what the fuck you need done or meet any type of goal. If that's the case, you shouldn't even be in trucking or you should be doing some day cab shit. But if, if she requires you to be there every motherfucking day and every fucking minute, or, or, or you think you're required to be there every day and every fucking, fucking minute to monitor her, you with the wrong fucking female to begin with. Period. You shouldn't have to monitor someone because they're going to do it anyway. They're going to do what the fuck they want to do. Whether it be a male or a female, they're going to do what the fuck they want to do. Period. So you can't do it. It's... It goes against the rules of what the fuck you supposed to be doing in this trucking game as a man or a female. You can't be worried about your fucking significant other to the extent that it's going to affect your paycheck. You can't. It can't be done. I just said it. It can't be done. You don't like it, move the fuck on. Move around. You don't like it, move the fuck around. But I'm telling you, it can't be done. You cannot do it. You're trying to monitor every single day and every single minute and you are over the road driver. You need not come over the road. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Don't do it. It pisses me off. And this is coming from, it's coming from some other shit too. You know? I'm 